One of the neater things that I've come across when it comes to reviewing these smart home accessories is the ability to save 50 to $100 on your energy bill every single year. How do you do this? Well, by adding a smart plug to all your high power usage areas. Off the top of my head, that's probably gonna be the living room and office if you have one. For me personally, the biggest culprit in my home is the office area where I do all the stuff for these reviews. I've got a laptop, desktop, printer, monitors, charger, and chargers plugged into one outlet. By adding a smart plug to that outlet, I can easily control the amount of phantom power going to all my devices. I've been playing around with several different smart plugs, so if you want specific details for each plug, do check out the other videos on my channel. Now, just a short blurb on phantom power. It's basically power that's being drawn by a device even though it's not on. So the television behind me, it's not on, but it's still drawing current. That's why when you turn it on, it turns on right away because that power is readily available, but it's being wasted in a sense. Now to eliminate phantom power, all you have to do is just unplug all the devices or turn off the power bar or power strip. The solution is very simple, but it will get tedious and you will forget. And that's where the smart plug comes in. Now smart plugs may seem like a novelty device as the ability to remotely turn on and off an appliance is handy, but not necessary. In my opinion, the benefit of the smart plug is the ability to add a bit of logic or as Apple calls it, an automation. With an automation, you can set the smart plug to turn off the moment you leave the house. This is handy for my office area because I'm the only one that's using it. So if I'm not physically present, there's no need for my monitors, lights, or hard drives to be on. You can have another automation to turn everything back on when you enter the house. You could apply the same logic to your entertainment system as well. If you got consoles, DVRs, blue DVD players, Blu-ray players, all those things. I basically have an automation that when 1230 at night or in the morning rolls around, everything turns off automatically. Uh, for the office here, everything turns back on at six. I've got that set automatically. Same with the uh, entertainment system. You can even be more frugal by not having that last automation. So just everything turns off at 12.30. And if you need to use your television, then you manually, remotely, through your smartphone easily without having to break your back or get on your knees, turn it back on using your smartphone. So with that setup out of the way, let's kind of take a look at the math. These numbers are all kind of in the ballpark kind of numbers. For a large living room with a TV, gaming console, DVR, and an audio system, the waste per year that I've kind of found on the internet is about $50 a year. For my office, two monitors, printer, lights, laptop, wireless modem, and whatever random device I've got plugged in will cost me about $75 to $100 a year. So these plugs cost between $40 and $50. This KuGeek one, which is my lowest rated plug, uh, costs about $40. Bucks. This iDevices switch, which is a pretty highly rated one, will cost about $50, $60. So, just by having one of these plugs, uh, sure it costs, there's an initial investment up front, we'll say, but in a span of eight to uh, 12 months, you'll recover the cost, which is kind of neat because out of all these electronic gadgets that we buy, like there's no way for me to really calculate the return on investment I have on an iPad or an Apple TV. Um, but with these smart plugs, I can definitely justify the cost of buying one just by just through the phantom power savings. If you're wondering what else I've done with smart home uh, products, uh, check out my channel. I've got comparisons between smart light bulbs and smart light switches. I've got comparison between different brands of smart plugs, as well as a comparison between the Philips Hue and as well as the Nanoleaf and the Nanoleaf Aurora lights. So do check that out. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments section below. Uh, that's kind of all I got. Thanks for watching.